Daniel. Daniel. George. Well, you've got to admit she's a woman of her word. Yes. You sure you tied her up real tight? Oh, quite sure. Well, either she had a knife or... Oh. It's, it's a ransom note. Oh, what does it say? To whom it may concern, we have the princess. You can get her back for 20 gold sovereigns. Leave the money here. Two desperate men. If they're not desperate now, they will be. <laughs> uh, do, you, uh, do you think we ought to go look for her? If we did, we might find her. Mm, I thought of that myself. The way I figured, if we wait around a day or two, whoever took her might pay us to take her back. Look, if we didn't look too hard, we might get at least one day of rest. Mingo, you are a coward. Daniel, I admit it. Well, we might as well cash this gear right here. They can't have traveled too far. <laughs> You may start washing the walls. This is a very dirty house. We didn't plan on staying very long. It may take them some time to raise the money. And I will not live in a dirty house. Maybe you could escape. Why would I want to escape? I have a use for the money. By the way, how much did you ask for me? Twenty gold sovereigns. Twenty? Too much. Too much? Why, I'm worth 200 at least. Oh, well, Colin May thought it was a fair price when we wrote the note. Well, it's a ridiculous price. You should have asked me. Asked you? Look, tonight you will go back and you'll leave another note. This time you'll ask 200 gold sovereigns. I will? Yes. And, and, by the way, I should like turkey for dinner this evening. Turkey? But we don't even own a turkey. Then hunt one after you've finished here. They went by boat from here. Now which one of us is going to have to swim the river to cover the other bank? Oh, I don't think either one of us. An old cabin three or four miles up ahead. Be my guess, that's where they're keeping her. Wonder if the catfish are biting. Daniel, do me a favor. Walk slowly so that I can enjoy these fleeting moments of freedom. I'll walk slowly. I'm no more anxious to get her back than you are. Worms. Hmm? Probably biting on worms. You know, the little training you may both prove quite satisfactory as butlers. Can we eat now, uh, Your Highness? After I have finished eating, uh, 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 you will remain standing, one on either side behind me, and with your arms folded, please. <laughs> Daniel, smoke coming from the chimney. Are you ready and willing? I'm ready. Oh, what an unpleasant ending for a most pleasant day. Someone's coming. Oh, where did we leave that boat?
Where are you going? For help. Well, where's your partner, Stench? Well, he's trapped in the cabin with that female tiger. How did you manage to escape? Oh, she let me go to bring another note. She didn't think the, the ransom was big enough. Well, considering the princess, the price was a little short. Oh, I'm real happy you come along. Now maybe you can save poor Stinch's life. Well, why would we want to do that? Well, you want it back, don't you? Well, what for? Oh, well, to stop an Indian war. Mango and I have talked it over, and we've decided that she's more apt to start a war than stop one. Well, if, if you don't take it back, what are we going to do with her? Well, you should have thought of that before you stole her. Well, we're willing to pay anything within reason, Mr. Boone. Well, what would you consider within reason? Well, a stench in me ain't got much ready cash, but we got a boat and some supplies. Somewhere. What do you think, Mingo? Not enough. No, no, you just name a price and Stinch and me will work it out. Work it out? Well, that sounds sort of reasonable. I need a lot of firewood cut for this winter. Oh, oh anything you say, Mr. Boone. Well, Carl, you just made yourself a bargain. Oh, is it? Oh, oh. And I will want you to heat the water and draw my bath. Draw your bath? But we ain't even got anything here for you to bath in. Then find something and do not question my orders. Just do as you are told. Yes, Mum. I mean, Princess. Go on. <clears throat> nice snug little palace you've got here, Princess. Yes, it's um quite comfortable. Did you bring the ransom money? Uh, no, as a matter of fact. Mr. Call is going to pay us to take you off of their hands. Oh. Have you fellows had supper yet? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, no. <laughs> How would you like to have a nice slice of turkey before we go? That's very gracious of you, Princess. Fine. No! Uh, no, 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 no. someplace. Yeah, I know where to flush her out. There she is. Hmm? You go around that way. I'll go this way.
I got something to say. Then speak. Don't you show any honor the quipo of your tribe? We honor the quipo. Well, put that axe down and let me up. I'm wearing one. Maybe we can have a little talk. Why do you travel through the land of the Shawnee with a woman of the Creeks? I, uh, I'm glad you asked me that. We bring the princess to become the bride of Lone Runner so that there will be lasting... <laughs> Keep talking, Daniel, or she'll get us all killed. <clears throat> As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. We bring the princess to the village of the Shawnee so that she will be able to marry the son of the chief and ensure lasting peace between the two tribes. Or maybe we could turn her over to you here and you could take her the rest of the way. Go your way in peace. How do you like that? Even the Indians are afraid of her. Well, it's uh, not a lack of bravery, Daniel. It's uh, rather an indication of high intelligence. I'll go. Princess? Well, it's apt to get cold before morning. I think I'd better go get some firewood. Yes, you do that. Excellent dinner, Princess. Did they teach you to cook in the white man's school? They taught us everything. Including how to wrestle? No, my brothers taught me that when I was a little girl. Well, that's one phase of your education I wish they'd overlooked. You too went to a white man's school? Yes. In Philadelphia? Oh, in London. Oh. Why did you go? You know, I was just about to ask you the same thing. It was my mother's wish. She believed that if we were to live peacefully with the white men, some of us would have to learn his customs. Your mother's a very wise woman. Yes, she is very wise. But she also obeys my father. He demanded that she bring me home, otherwise I would not have left. Why did you leave? Well, my father's English. We had a disagreement, too. Oh. We have much in common, then. Uh, in white man dress, you must be very distinguished looking. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much for the compliment, Princess, but in white man's dress, I look exactly like an Indian in white man's dress. <laughs> Do you think I'm pretty? Oh, yes. Yes, I think you look very pretty uh, in your non-violent moments. Do you think I would make a good wife? You'd make a very good wife, if you could only learn to control your temper. Yes. I will learn to control my temper. And I accept your proposal. My, my what? I will marry you. Uh, what do you mean? And now that we're engaged, you may kiss me. But Princess, I'm... Help! Oh. Daniel! Daniel! Where are you? Please, if you don't understand, Princess, I, I didn't... Really... What are you two fighting about this time? She wants to marry me. 
Congratulations. You two make a real nice looking couple. Uh, no, she, she's serious. Well, why did you decide to marry Mingo? Well, he asked me to. I did not. He said I was beautiful and that I would make a very good wife. Now, I consider that a proposal. No! Well, I, I'm sorry, Princess, but uh, I've promised to deliver you to the Shawnee, and uh, I aim to keep that promise. <laughs> There goes the blushing bride. Which one of us is going to run her down this time? You are. With my luck, I'm liable to catch her. Apparently, they're expecting us. Look peaceful, too, considering what the princess did to that brave. Red Fox welcomes his friend Boone to the village of the Shawnee. Well, it's always a pleasure to be here, Red Fox. I expect you had word that we were coming. We had word from our scouts. Well, in that case, I guess you know what we've come for, too. My son, Lone Runner, has told me of the Creek Princess. She's welcome here. You approve of the marriage? For many years, the Shawnees have fought against the Creeks. There's been too much war. There has been too much killing. Now that you have come, there will be peace. I did not come here. I was brought here against my will. Is this true? Well, <clears throat> I reckon she did object a little from time to time. Why was this? Well, I think she can tell you better than I can. It is my father's wish that this marriage take place. It is not mine. Why do you not wish it? Because you have not asked for my hand, as is the custom with the white man. Another has. I know nothing of this custom. She speaks as the truth, Father. Who is the one who has spoken for your hand? He is known as Mingo. Now, what am I supposed to do? One thing you don't do, you don't make her out a liar in front of this crowd. Uh-oh. Is it true you have asked for her hand? And you have accepted him? I have not yet decided. His bravery is known to me. I know nothing of yours. Then I will prove it to you. You are familiar with the white man's customs. I am. That is my challenge. The choice of weapons will be yours. Well, now, wait a minute. There's no sense in having any bloodshed over this. Yes, especially mine. Well, what do you suggest? Well, we could have a contest of some sort, maybe a foot race, maybe a wrestling match. Daniel, why don't you just stay out of this and let me do it my way? But, Mingo... Just stay out of this. Once in her life, I'm going to teach this young vixen to tell the truth. And you could get killed doing it. That's possible. And it's also possible you might even end up married to her. They are going to fight for me? Yeah, that seems to be the general idea. That is good. It will prove that Lone Runner cares for me. I just have to prove something else before it's over. Come on, Princess. Have you made your choice? Your choice of weapon is your own. 
I choose the whip. telling me what brought that on. She thought that you were going to kill him. Will he help you up? No. I think I'll just stay here for a while. After the last few days, I'm getting used to it. Why did you do it? Well, because I... Well, I lied to you. Mingo had never asked for my hand in marriage. Nor had I. It was I who forgot the white man's custom. So now I will ask you, would you marry me? I have meant to marry you since the first day we met. Mr. Boone, I caused you much trouble. I am sorry for it. Well, I've got to admit I've taken easier trips. I've never taken one I'll remember quite as long. Congratulations. Thank you. Let me add my congratulations. Thank you. And to you, Princess, may I wish you happiness? Thank you, Mingo. Just one thing. How good are you at wrestling? I was champion at the white man's school. Well, I'm real glad to hear that, because later on it might come in real handy. <laughs> Mr. Boone, tua tua. Little fawn. To borrow a phrase from William Shakespeare, all's well that ends well. Daniel, let's go home. Mm -hmm. 